you recruited uh, Michael Jordan and James Worthy, a lot of these you know historical players at North Carolina. But at what point, when you're watching as an assistant coach for the great Dean Smith, do you look at Jordan or and have a conversation with Dean and you go, holy smokes, he's so much better than I thought? Well, it's, it, it went on for 15 years. I mean, the first time I ever saw Michael Jordan, it was our camp, and we I was in uh, Carmichael at that time running an afternoon session, and Eddie Fogler, another assistant, asked me that night at dinner before we had the large meeting with the entire camp and camp staff. He said, you see anybody you liked? And I said, I think I just saw the best six-foot-four-inch high school player I've ever seen. And that was my remark after seeing Michael the first time. And yet he was better <laughs> the next year, and he was better the next year, and he was better the next but year. But why didn't Dean let him go? Oh, Danny, come on. You're too smart for that. Jesus. He did let him go. You got, Michael. Every time Michael's been asked that question, he says, because he made me concentrate on the fundamentals, I was able to expand my game. Okay, it, so that's you know, a myth then. That... It's a, well, it's a stupid myth. You know, okay. You're know, you not in a stupid category. Try this. In 1982, we had James Worthy, Michael Jordan, Sam Perkins. Guess how many times we scored over 80 points in the games? I think it's like five or four. Yeah. But there was no clock. So people held the ball on us. <laughs> you know, it's those guys. And then when James was gone, we still had Michael and Sam, and there was still a, there was still a clock, and people held the ball. They double teamed him and the whole bit. But he, seriously, I mean, every time Michael's asked that question, he said he never felt like he was held back. People said that he didn't score twenty. Well, he did average twenty. Uh, but the bottom line is that coach made him a much more fundamentally sound player. And it's like the guy with the great golf swing, like yours, I'm sure. Then once you've got the great swing, you can expand and try the flop shot. You can try all the other things. But Coach Smith made sure that Michael had the the solid base, that he was so fundamentally sound. And and, and he just got better and better. I mean, he was uh, – I've never seen a guy that I thought was as good as anybody I'd ever seen, the best six-foot-four-inch high school player I'd ever seen. And five years later, he was ten times better. And five years later, he was ten times better. None of us ever saw what he was going to do. And we thought he was going to be great. But nobody saw what – I mean, that boy just worked his butt off. 